Kickoff two o'clock. We stayed in above the South Bank. That used to be a hotel, and we were in Man City, and, and I had a great, great team come to your place. We had Bell, Lee, Marsh, some of it, and you had you had a little twat <laughs> called Duncan McKenzie. My first encounter, city ground, 40,000 people, and I thought, what? That way, that way. Right, right, right. I've lost my track now. When I first came to the city ground, I've got Alzheimer's, you know. I've got Alzheimer's, you know. So, stay in the hotel, city ground, 40,000 people, what an atmosphere. We lost four. We were lucky to get the one. And I got blamed in the Manchester Evening News and the Manchester Evening Post for all four goals. I was playing right back at the time. And Duncan went down the right hand side in Nutmeg, Willie Donnerkin, Mike Doyle, Tommy Booth. And I was next. And he passed it to a person called Ian Hoyer. Bomber, Bomber, I know very, very well, Bomber. And he just tapped it in there. But I got blamed for all four goals. I was only 19, 20 at the time. And I thought, that's a bit harsh. And the next time I came to the city ground was full. And that was my debut. And the great man who bought me. 29,000 and he only paid 29 because they asked for 30 and he said he won't pay 30. Right? Still in round table. <laughs> so what I'm going to say, short and sweet, thanks for inviting me, thanks for the organisers, right? brilliant job. This is what this club should be about. Should be about. You are a supporter. You are a supporter, whether you're a millionaire or whether you've got chocolates in the bank. You're a supporter. You're not an ordinary supporter. You are a supporter. And long may it continue. I'm really pleased you've done it. I hope you enjoy your day. I'm getting off the mic now unless he has anything else to say. Thanks very much for the invite. I just want to say last, one last thing and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it. Uh, I've only known Colin about two years. Uh, with, with what Johnny's done with the film and everything, it's given this bloke a massive resurgence and he deserves every bit of it because he's a fucking cracking guy. Yeah. 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 I'm not a scouser. No, it's now Greater Manchester, it used to be called Stockport. We just draw these for us. We've had, uh... Hold on a minute, let me get my ticket out. So Ben Osborne's dad, David Osborne, messaged one of our mates last night saying I've got a load of kids' shirts. Give them out on the day, so... They won't fit you, even if you're not. 
<laughs> We've got a lady who's seven to eight year old, then one 13 to 14 year old, so. <laughs> Sixteen to twenty. <laughs> 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 